In this video, I want to show you guys how to run Python scripts with the command prompt. So the first thing I'm going to do is actually create a Python script, and it's just going to be a quick Hello World program. So I'm going to zoom in real quick, and I'm just going to say print Hello World. And I'm actually going to do a for loop, so for x in range of 1 to 11. We're just going to print out the square of every number from 1 to 10. So we're just going to print x squared, and that should be good. Okay. So we're going to save this to the desktop, and we're just going to call this script hello, and make sure it's it needs a .py extension. So make sure the save as type is Python files. So we'll x out of this. And our hello script should be now on the desktop. And now that we have it, we can uh, now navigate to the command prompt and we can just type in CMD into the search box. And now that we're here, um, in the command prompt, we need to navigate to the directory to where our script is saved. So in this case, it's saved on the desktop. And then we can execute it using the Python interpreter. Um, so we need to get the location of this and if you're unsure of the exact location of your Python script you can just right click on it and go to properties and as you can see the location is displayed right here so you can just copy this and now you have the location so we need to change directory with CD to the location of where the script can be found and we can just right click and it'll be pasted right there so from here we need to invoke Python's interpreter, and we do this by writing the uh, Python keyword, so Python. And then after that, we need to type the name of the script, and in this case, it's hello.py, and you can't forget .py. And when we hit enter, hello world and our square of every number from 1 to 10 has been ran in the command prompt. But say our Python script is not on the desktop and we actually have a different folder called code. And instead of being uh, on the desktop, our hello world script is now in this code file. Well, we find the location the same way. We just go into the code folder and we right click on it and go to properties. And now we have the location of where this Python script can be found. So we can copy this. We can X out and we go to the command prompt so cmd enter so we need to change the directory to where the location of this python script can be found and we just right click since I already have it and then we type in the python keyword to invoke the python interpreter and then we type in the name of our python file so hello.py and our python script is now running in the command prompt but say for example uh, we wanted to redirect the output of our script to a text file instead of displaying it on the screen. So if we go to the command prompt, the steps will be the same. So we just do change directory, we give it the directory of where our uh, Python script is, type in the Python keyword to uh, invoke the Python interpreter, and we type in the Python um, script. But from here, this is where it gets different. We do a greater than sign and then we um, type in the name of the text file that we want the contents of this program to be stored in. So since we don't have one, we're just going to create one called output.txt, a quick txt file. And this process is uh, known as stream redirection. So if output.txt doesn't exist, which in this case it doesn't, it's going to be automatically created. And on the other hand, if it already exists, then this co these co its contents will be replaced with the new output. So if we hit enter, as you can see, nothing in the command prompt has ran. But if we X out of this and go into our code folder, you can see that output, there's an output text file in our code folder. So if we click on that, you can see that this program now stored its output into this output text file. So. That's just a quick video on how to run um, Python programs in your command prompt. If you got any value from this video, I would appreciate it if you liked, commented, and subscribed, and I will see you guys in future tutorials.